We have another enthralling contest, or what I think should be one of those exciting contests, um, between newbies who have survived, you know, the challenges of this competition, Accra Girls. Are you Accra Girls Senior High School, or are you Accra Girls? Accra Girls Senior High School. Accra Girls Senior High School, fantastic. So they will be uh, to my left, and they will be competing against Sunrise International High School. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, please speak into the microphone Thank so I can Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic. That's great. Uh, we'll take a quick round of introductions and know who's here, who's representing what. So let's start off from my right. My name is Denry Courage, Form 3, Science. Fantastic. Quarting Sebelesli, second year, of in general science. Akpalu Jessica, second year. Deborah Paula, Form 3 Arts. Ah, did you just forget your, your, your year group and the program? That's fine. Please put your hands together for them. And to my surviving newbies, to my surviving newbies, Accra Girls, over to you. Benedict Tako, it's a final year at. Next. On, on, on. Let, let's, let's hear you in the microphone. Yes, it's on now. Esther A4 Apia, Form 3, General Science. Next. Gladys has shown Form 3, General Science. Farida Yusuf, Form 3, General Science. The, the first name again? Farida Yusuf. Form Farida. Yes. Please. Fantastic. Please put your hands together for them. It's an all-women contingent, and I'm usually excited when I see contingents like that because I think it is their time to start changing some of the narrative. Well, so we shall have this competition between you both um, over, you know, four rounds of contests, right? So rules of engagement for round number one, which is the right corner round. Now, in this round of the competition or the contest, each school will have the opportunity of answering eight questions in a row. And you answer these questions in a maximum of two minutes or 120 seconds. Every question you answer correctly attracts 10 points, okay? You get 10 points for answering any question correctly. If it's wrong, no penalties are deducted at this point. You can choose to skip a question if you don't have the answer to it, that's fine. But at the end of the two minutes, if you have some extra time and you want to address any of the questions before, there's an opportunity for you to do that, okay? And we'll expect that at any point you ring the bell, get acknowledged before you, prov you provide the answer to the question. Is that okay? We'll start off with uh, Sunrise uh, Christian High uh, to my right, okay? Round number one. Round number one. I'm ready whenever you are, okay? Ready. We are. You're ready? Ready. Question one. Who is the first African-American Secretary of State to the United States of America? Pass. Pass. Question two. Where in China did the coronavirus originate? Wuhan. Well, I will take Wuhan. I will take Wuhan province. Question three. Who is the current Secretary General of the Commonwealth of Nations? Pass. Pass. Who is the first Secretary General of the Commonwealth? Pass. Pass. Question five. Which is the first African country to host the FIFA Under-20 World Cup tournament? A, Egypt. B, Ghana. C, South Africa. D, Nigeria. Egypt. Egypt it is, correct, for 10 points. Question six, who is the Minister of Works and Housing of Ghana? Pass. Pass. Question seven, who is the Minister of Transport of Ghana? Pass. Question eight, what is the title of the paramount chief of the people of Ikiapim? A, Osiadeo, B, Manches, C, Dasebre, and D, Osajifu. Osajifu. I'm sorry, that is wrong. It's not a Sajifu. Put your hands together for them. That was round one. And that means Accra Girls is your turn. Question one. On what date and month did the former president, Jerry Roll Rollins, die? Jerry John Rollins. On what date and month did he die? On the 12th of November. 2020. On the 12th of November, 2020. On the 12th of November, 2020, I said exact date and month, right? So that's correct for 10 points. Who is the first female appointed minister of Ghana? First female appointed as minister of Ghana. Pass. Pass. Who is the current governor of the Bank of Ghana? Pass. Pass. Where is the headquarters of the Commonwealth? A, London in the United Kingdom. B, The Hague. C, Holland. D, Washington. 
Uh, C. Washington D. Ontario in Canada. Washington. I'm sorry, that's wrong. Um, which is the first African country to win the FIFA Under-20 World Cup trophy? A. Ghana, B. Cameroon, C. Nigeria, D. Egypt. Pass. Who is the Minister of Local Government and Rural Development? Pass. Pass. Mm -hmm. Seven, who is the Minister for Roads and Highways? Peter Meu, John Peter Meu. I am sorry, it's not John Peter Meu. <laughs> what is the title of the Paramount Chief of the Achim people, A, Otumfo, B, Osajefu, C, Osiadeyo, and D, Yana. Otumfo. I'm sorry, it's not Otumfo. It is not Otumfo. You have some 30 seconds. Would you want to try any of the questions yes. you missed? Yes. I ask who the current Bank of Ghana governor is. Addison. I will give you that. Dr. Ernest Addison, I will give you that for 10 points. I ask again where the headquarters of the Commonwealth was. Ontario, Canada. Ontario, Canada. Ontario, Canada. And uh, your time is up. Your time is up. You try to salvage the situation. Please put your hands together for them. Show some appreciation as we end round number one. And ladies and gentlemen, at the end of round number one, Accra Girl Senior High School has 30 points. And Sunrise Christian High has 20 points. Please appreciate them as we take the rules of engagement for round number two. In round number two, the rules of engagement are slightly modified. You don't have the opportunity of answering eight questions in a row. The questions will be thrown to you. You have an opportunity uh, to answer it for 10 points. If not, um, we shall transfer the question as a bonus question to the opposing school. And if they answer correctly, they have a maximum of 10 points. There's a substitution. Okay, let's take that substitution and then we continue um, with round number two. And round two, we shall start off with you, Accra Girls. Is that okay? I am ready whenever you are. Yeah. Great. Round number two. Question one, Accra Girls. A flight of stairs has 13 steps. Mary can go up for one step, two steps, or three steps each time. The fifth and eighth step cannot be stepped on as it is destroyed. How many ways is or are there for Mary to go up the stairs? I'm sorry, your time is up, Accra Girls. And so that's a bonus question to Sunrise. Christian, hi. No answer. So we will move on to the next question, which goes to Sunrise. Christian, hi. 30 cards, 30 cards are marked from 1 to 30, and two are drawn at random. Find the probability that two cards drawn at random such that their sum is a multiple of 5. And your time is up, Sunrise, and so that's a bonus question to Accra Girls. No. Well, your time is up as well. Um, and so this will be your main question, Accra Girls. Seven identical red cups, okay? Seven identical red cups. Three identical blue cups and two identical yellow cups are put from left to right, Okay. How many different permutations is or are there? I'm sorry, your time is up. And so that's a bonus question to Sunrise. I'm sorry, your time is up as well. And so to Sunrise Christian, hi. Your main question. Use the numbers 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, and 8 to form five-digit numbers. Okay? The odd digits cannot be next to each other. The odd digits cannot be next to each other. How many numbers or number can be formed in this way? How many numbers can be formed in this way? I'm sorry, your time is up. That's a bonus question to Accra Girls.
and that's also up. And so you forfeit the opportunity to give five points Accra Girls. Accra Girls, your main question. Find the average of the following sequence. Find the average of the following sequence. 2001, 2003, 2006, 2008, 2011, 2013, dash, 2991, 2993, 2,996, 2,998. I'm sorry, your time is up. And so that's a bonus question to Sunrise Christian High. And I see the shake of the head from Sunrise Contenders. And so that means we go to the main question for Sunrise Christian High School. There are some chickens and rabbits in a cage. There are some chickens and rabbits in a cage. The number of chickens is seven times as the number of rabbits. The total legs of chickens is 120 more than that of rabbits. How many rabbits are there? Yes? Ten rabbits. Pardon? Ten. I'm sorry, that's not accurate. It's not ten rabbits. So that will be a bonus question to Accra girls. And I'm sorry, your time is up, Accra girls. Accra girls, your main question. Given that A is a positive real number and A is not equal to 2, okay? If a over 3 plus 1 over 2 minus A equals 5A over 3. Find the sum of possible values of A. And I'm sorry... Your time is up, Accra girls. That's a bonus question to Sunrise. Yes, my bell is gone. Let's see. Leslie? Two. Oh, the answer is two. The answer is two. You get some five points there. Finally, we're breaking some deadlock. Finally. The answer is two. That was a bonus question, right? So that was for five points. Uh, the next question goes to Sunrise. And um, you have to factorize. Factorize completely, okay? X squared minus 4X minus 45. You have 10 seconds. Yes, I hear a bell ringing. In one bracket, we have two, sorry. In one bracket, we have X plus 5 multiplying X minus 9. Fantastic, that's correct for 10 points. <laughs> Preamble to both schools. Preamble to both schools, okay? We'll start off with your car girls. Complete the sentence with the appropriate words. Complete the sentence with the appropriate words, okay? Babe Diedrichsen was a fantastic athlete who was dash, outstanding in every athletic dash she undertook. A, apparently an endeavor. B, truly and testimonial. C, skillfully and play. D, basically and skill. D. D. I'm sorry, it's not D. That's a bonus question to Christian High. Uh, to Sunrise. I'm sorry, you don't have the opportunity of getting five extra points. Sunrise, your question. He was so convinced that people were driven by dash motives that he believed there was no such thing as a purely dash act. A, personal and antisocial. B, personal and eternal. C, altruistic and praiseworthy. D, ulterior and selfless. Yes? D. D. D or B? D. 
D. Yeah. D, ulterior and selfless. That's correct for 10 points. <laughs> Accra girls. An administrator must dash, evaluate his own views because his influence can be dash if he has personal prejudices. A, sincerely and significant. B, regularly and acrimonious. C, constantly and deleterious. D, frequently and rash. Yes. C. C, constantly and deleterious. That's square for 10 points. Sunrise Christian High. We dash him with many promises, but nothing will dash him. A, tempted and influence. B, provoked and desiccate. C, attracted and fascinate. D, gave and deprive. Your time is up. That's a bonus question to Accra girls. D. D. Gave it. I'm sorry, D is wrong. D is wrong. It's not D. Accra girls, your main question. The preamble will apply to both schools, but we'll start off with you for the next use of questions. You are to choose the odd one out. Choose the odd one out, okay? Surfate over abundance, plethora, D, death, death. Which is the odd one out? Over abundance. I'm sorry, it's not over abundance. Yes, I hear your bell. D. D. D, D is correct. D, death is correct for five points. It's correct. And your main question, Sunrise Christian High. Okay? The odd one out. A, decline. B, plummet. C, skyrocket. And D, plunge. Yes? Skyrocket. Skyrocket it is. Skyrocket it is. Accra girls, your main question. Same preamble. Okay? The odd one out. A, polemical. B, uncontroversial. C, opinionated. And D, contentious. A. I'm sorry, the correct answer is not A. Yes. B. B, uncontroversial. That is correct. Uncontroversial is correct for five points for Sunrise. Sunrise, your main question, which will effectively bring us to the end of round number two. Same preamble. Pick the odd one out, okay? Utilitarian, logical, pragmatic, and de-idealistic. Yes, Leslie? D. D. De-idealistic. Idealistic is correct for 10 points. Idealistic is correct for 10 points. Please put your hands together for them, and that brings us to the end of round number two. As we prepare for round number three, I'm not sure if there will be any changes, but... For round number three, the rules are again modified. So you're not really racing against the clock. You're racing against the speed of the other school's ability to answer the question. And so it's important for you to think carefully about your answers. There's a change? Okay, great. Um, and so for round number two, Accra girls had a penalty, a total of 10. So you have negative 10 at the end of round number two. And then Christian Sunrise, Christian High has a total of 50 points. Please put your hands together for them as we get into round number three. Round three, I will read the questions to both schools at the same time. If you have an answer to the question on any of the clues, ring the bell, get acknowledged, provide the answer to the question. If you get it right, you have 10 points. Otherwise, it's a penalty of five. If you get it wrong, we will complete the clues for the opposing school to provide an answer to the question. If they answer correctly, they get a full 10 if they get it wrong as well, they have a penalty of five. May the best school, best candidate win. To both schools. Give the generic name for such changes, such as the methylation of certain nicotides. And the time is up, and so you both forfeit the opportunity to get 10 points. Question two. Epigenetic changes may be involved in the formation of polyps that lead to cancer in this organ. The can that cancer can sometimes be detected 
by sigmoidoscopy. The time is up. Question three to both schools. Epigenetics may also be involved in the rise in diagnosis of this disease whose high functioning form is called Asperger syndrome. Asperger syndrome. Time is up, and so we go to the next question. A theory, a theory by University of California professor Petr Hozava may explain this phenomenon at quantum level, okay? Name this fundamental force that in Newtonian mechanics is always attractive. Yes, I heard your bell. Gravitational force. Gravitational force. Gravitational force. Gravitational force. Please speak into the mic so we can hear you. We don't misrepresent anything you're saying. Gravitational force. To both schools. Hosava's work borrows from the mathematics involved in helium's transition to this viscosity-free state of low temperatures. Yes, Leslie? Superfluidity. 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 That is correct for 10 points. To both schools. Hosava's work may also explain this form of matter that appears to be more common than regular matter and may include machos and wimps. I'm sorry, the time is up for the question and so we move on to the next question. To both schools, peptization forms this type of substance. The silica in opal forms this type of crystal. Low electric potential at these substances, double layer interfaces called zeta potential results in the formation of large flakes via flocculation. These substances scatter light in the Tyndall effect. Yes. Colloids. Colloids. Colloids is correct for 10 points. To both schools. For 10 points each, here's the premise. Name these eponymous chemistry laws okay for 10 points this law states that constant pressure constant pressure okay this law states that at constant pressure okay sunrise charles law charles law charles law charles law square for 10 points to both schools if two measures of ideal gases, if two measures of ideal gases have the same pressure, temperature, and volume, this law states that they will contain the same number of... Yes, Sunrise? Avogadro's law. Pardon? Avogadro's law. Avogadro, Avogadro's law. Avogadro's law. To both schools, and what effectively will bring us to the end of round number three by this law by this law the solubility of a gas in a liquid at a given temperature is proportional to the vapor pressure of that gas above the liquid yes sunrise henry's law henry's henry's law henry's law and that brings us to the end of round number three please show some appreciation it's not easy to be in these seats and at the end of round number three Accra girls ended just how they started the round so zero points for this round but sunrise christian high has a total of 60 points please some appreciation as we prepare for round number four and in round four we shall have candidates being pitched against each other in English, math, science, and general knowledge. Okay? The rules of engagement are the same. Shall we have the candidates will be answering questions in English? Stay, everybody else, please take a leave of us. For English, you have two questions, okay? 
So maximum mark points to be, to be you know, claimed in this round will be 20. Okay, two questions each. Snow, milk, teeth. Which of these words I am going to read does belong to the list of words I have just read? A, concrete. B, tree branch. C, tea. And D, powdered sugar. Was that your bell? Yes, Accra girls. Powdered sugar. Powdered sugar it is. That's correct for 10 points. To both schools, unscramble the sentence by placing the words in the correct order. Is that okay? One, that all men. Two, born equal. Three, I believe. And four, and women are. I believe. I girls. I had your bell. I believe that old man and woman are born equal. I'll take that. I'll take that for ten points. I'll take that. I'll take that. Please take leave of us, and then we shall have the candidates answering questions in mathematics. Join us. Same rules of engagement. I'll read the questions to both of you. If you have the answer, ring the bell. Get acknowledged. Provide the answer. If it's correct, ten points. Penalty of five for wrong answers. Okay. Question one. What is the greatest five-digit even number by using one, three, five, seven, eight, and nine? Each number can only be used once. Okay. Yes, Leslie? 97,538. 97,538. That is correct for 10 points. That is correct for 10 points. To both schools. Numbers are drawn from 80 integers, 1 to 80, okay? At least, how many numbers is or are drawn at random to ensure that there are two numbers whose difference is a multiple of 9? I'm sorry, my time is up, and so you both forfeit the opportunity to get 10 points. Please put your hands together for them as we welcome... Um, the candidates to answer questions in general science, so science candidates can join us. Great. Now the rules of engagement once again haven't changed, and so it's important that you conduct yourself accordingly. Okay? Question one. Which isotope of an iron in the Actinides series of the periodic table contains the same number of neutrons and electrons as 92235U3 to the power plus the 3. 3 plus. Unfortunately, the time is up. This is a question about atomic structures, but none of you had the answer to it. And so we'll take the second question for both of you. Please pay attention. Three identical resistors are connected in parallel. The equivalent resistance, increase, uh, equivalent resistance increases by 350 ohms. When one resistor is removed and connected in series with the remaining two, which are still in parallel, the resistance of each resistor is A, 200 ohms, B, 250 ohms, C, 300 ohms, and D, 350 ohms. Unfortunately, the time is up. You both forfeit the opportunity to get 10 points. Please put your hands together for them as we welcome candidates to answer the questions in general knowledge. And what will effectively bring us to the end of this round of the competition and indeed the contest between Accra Girls and Sunrise Christian High. You are to identify this flag. So look on the screens and you have 10 seconds to do that. What country's flag is that? Well, we don't seem to have an answer on the floor. And so we shall skip to the next question. The next question 
is also an image. So I want you to look once again at your screens and identify this British journalist who recently got into trouble for commenting on the Prince Harry Meghan interview with Oprah. What is his name? Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for them. It's not been an easy contest and a competition between these two schools. So we have all the candidates join us as we prepare to tabulate our scores for round number four. This has not been easy, um, I must say, but I think you have all performed exceedingly well. And we shall see which school progresses to the round of eight from this particular contest between Accra Girls and Sunrise Christian High School. And for the two of you who were here, finally, that image was, was Piers Morgan. Have you heard the name before? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. At the end of round number four, at the end of round four, ladies and gentlemen, Accra Girls has a total of 20 points for round four. Please put your hands together for them. And Sunrise Christian High School has 10 points from round four. Please show some appreciation. It's not easy to be in the seats in which they find themselves. And I know that we have the best school progressing from this competition. It is my singular honor to announce to you that at the end of the four rounds of contest between Accra Girls and Sunrise Christian High, Accra Girls has a total of 30 points. Please show some appreciation. It's not easy to get to the round of 16. And Sunrise Christian High School has a total of 100 and 40 points. Please put your hands together for them. And once again, we don't need Archimedes to do the math for us and tell us what the conclusion is. Conclusion is that Sunrise Christian High, you progress to the next stage, which is around eight of the competition for this year. We wish you well and we shall see you to Accra Girls. Hard luck, prepare better, and come back even bigger and better for the next competition. My name is Patrick Stevenson, and I have been your quiz master, and we shall. See you next week.